And let's quickly look at the scripture in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 13 verse 8. The Bible says, Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Owe no man anything but to love one another. That means God expects us not to, de- not to be a debtor. But in the only place where we can be a debtor, where debtor is allowed, is when it comes to love. So the Bible says we should owe no man nothing except for love. Meaning, as a child of God, you owe everyone your love. It is important for you to love everyone. Are you there? It is important for us to show love to everyone. But there's a difference between showing love to everyone and showing intimacy. Everyone deserves your love, but not everyone deserves your intimacy. By loving everyone, you will not strive with them. You will not keep malice with them. You will not fight with them. But intimacy is different. What God expects you to show to everyone is, is your love not your intimacy you need to get things right otherwise you will expose your secret to some people and that will be the reason you will not fulfill your ministry there are many people we love and yet we don't really relate with but and for the fact that we don't relate with them does not mean we don't love them that's love but there's no how you will have intimacy with a person and you will not relate with that person deeply so, the, so what I'm trying to say is, everybody should be loved by you, but not everybody can be your friend. That's the point. Everybody should be loved by you because that is, a, is love is a commandment, anyways. But intimacy with everyone is not a commandment. It is loving everyone that is a commandment, not intimacy. So, everybody should be loved by you, but not everybody can be your friend. Oh, no man, nothing but love. You can show love to everyone, but not to have intimacy with everyone. Your intimacy must be among some selected individuals who have been found worthy of it. Jesus loved everyone, but he had an intimate relationship with his 12 disciples out of the 12 disciples he had you know there are three that he shares more intimate things with and out of these three he had one whose name is john the beloved can you see that now this is not to sponsor favoritism but to show that not everyone deserves our intimacy Everyone deserves to be loved, but not everyone deserves your intimacy. There are certain people that certain things about your life must not be made known to them. Because if it happens, you may be tempted. Can you see that? So, not everybody can be your friend, but it's a commandment for you to love everybody. So, you must be able to balance the difference between intimacy and love love is for everyone but intimacy is not for everyone so don't share your intimacy with an enemy otherwise you may find yourself in trouble i pray that the lord will teach us how to be able to show love and the selected people we can have intimacy with in the name of jesus